I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making by using a mock Charleston to simulate the decision making in a four player game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times, and each time I'm going to pick a card to identify which player we are, and I'll also pick a card to identify which player is prevailing for that particular exercise. For the first one, we're going to be player three, so we'll get 13 tiles, and east is prevailing. We have north two, four, nine in dots, pair two, pair nine. In BAMs, we have four, five, six, pair six, and then we have three, five, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? When I first saw these tiles, I was thinking of a hopscotch hand. Maybe Scotch Hopper, two, four, six, eight, and two suits, one, three, five, seven, nine, and a third suit with a one or a nine paired. We have a pair of nine dots, but here's three, five, seven. We have four, six, two, four. So that's what I was initially thinking. Then I thought maybe we could play. little two, four, six, eight. We have two, four, four, six, but no eight. And then I thought we could play one suit in honors with dots. So I think what I would do is hold the four, six, and the three, five, nine, pass those and let the north go and see if a hopscotch hand comes in or dots. Let's pass these three. There's an eight and another eight. White dragon, seven tiles in dots. I think I would let that go. Oh, no, no, we want to keep that for one suit and honors. Three, I think I would let these go. I think I would just play one suit and honors. Let these go. Dots. And I would hold all honors regardless. Wins, any combination of wins and dragons. Let's see. And then I would probably pass those three. A dot. So here we have three discards, one suit and honors of some kind. We have three pair. Maybe we could play Snowflake. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. Maybe we could also play Peng Chao and let the winds and dragons go. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. For the next one, we're player two, so we'll get 13 tiles, and player two is also prevailing.
we have two norths and a south, one of each of the dragons, three, eight, and bams, a one crack, one, three, four, five, and dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? When I first saw these tiles, I thought one suit and honors. Maybe Betty. Let those go. Then I thought, well, maybe we could play angels. Double limit hand. I think I would let that go anyway. Focus on dots. There's a dragon. Now we have two pair. We don't need those. I think I would focus on honors. Let's let a three go. No keepers, there's a seven dot, but we need tiles to pass. I would focus on terminals, winds and dragons. We got a nine crack. Here's a three, four, five again. I think I would focus on honors and terminals. Maybe play heavenly hash or dragon terms. Is that what it's called? Dragon terms. Dragons in terms. Five pairs of dragons with news. You can use terminals in there too. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with poll two. This might also work for dots and honors and maybe just let a wind go, let's say, play Betty. We're gonna be east, so I'll get 14 tiles and then north is prevailing. We have two, three, six, eight, and dots, pair two, pair six. So six in cracks, we have the same number, six. One, two, three, seven, eight, pair seven, and then a two, six. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play little two, four, six, eight. Little two, four, six, eight, we have two pair in there. Let's break up the seven. Any two, four, six, eight. Or dragons. We might be able to do something in mixed suits. We got a four and we have, let's see, let's hold the south. Maybe winds will be easier to keep and a two. So we have three discards, two, four, six, eight. We need a pair of twos and then pungs of each number, two, six. We have two eights and a four. I think that was a pretty good result for two, four, six, eight, little two, four, six, eight. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. When you first get your dealt in hand, put your winds and dragons together and then your suits in numerical order. That'll give you the lay of the land. Then look for the predominant pattern. If you have 
seven tiles for any given category in the book, go for that category and gather tiles. When you run out of discards, pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.